Hello, this is Nick Golden from MotionVFX.com. Today we're going to be looking at M Title Glitch for Premiere Pro. Let's get started. To locate M Title Glitch in Premiere Pro, once you've installed via M Installer, head up to Window, Workspaces, and Captions and Graphics. Once here, you want to head over to the Browse tab on Essential Graphics. And you'll see they load in right here on the right. And there are tons of great titles to use with really cool effects. Let's see what we can make with this. For this example, we're gonna be assuming we're using it for a music video. We find it super helpful for this kind of video. To select a title, head back over to your browse tab in Essential Graphics, and let's pick one. I really like this glitch number seven, so let's select, drag, and drop it in. I want it to start at right about the three second mark. I'm gonna put my playhead there and drag it and place it right with the playhead. Then I'm gonna simply retime it really quickly because I only want it to last a few seconds. I wanna last till about the seven second mark. So I'm gonna put my playhead right at the seven second mark and retime to match. These titles are really customizable, so let's see what we can change on them. To do so, simply select and head over to edit on the essential graphics tab and let's change some stuff up on this. I actually want to mess with the background first. I want this to be a full title and not see any of the background. So I want to make the opacity 100%. To do so, let's click background on essential graphics and you'll see the background opacity automatically comes in at 90. You can either change the number by typing right here or simply use our slider. So I want it at exactly 100%. You can also change the background color if you wish to any color you want, but I want to leave it on black for this tutorial. Next, I also want to change the content scale. So I'm going to head over to content and essential graphics, and I'm going to take it down to about 65. And I like it right about there. Next, I want to change what it says. So let's head over to the essential graphics tab and click text. And you can see you can change it right here and let's change it to presents. You can see now that the frame is in not an ideal location anymore, but that's okay because we can move it. To do so, let's close this text panel on essential graphics and open up the frame panel. You can see here we can change the frame position. So let's put it over the in for this. We can just drag this slider until it's perfectly over the end, just how we would like it. I like it right about there. I used both the slider and then this specific number where you could type it in just to really dial it in for you. And now that I'm looking at it, I actually think I want to go back and change the font. So that's pretty simple to do. Head back over to text. You can simply click this drop down on font and choose a font that you like. I really like this font, so I'm going to set it on that. And now we can see we actually need to go back and adjust the frame one more time to get it center on the end. So I'm gonna head back down to frame and change the position again right here on frame X until I like it. I like it right about there. Now let's also change the frame color. To do so, head down to frame and let's change the color to red. Let's do some dark red right about there. Okay, now that we've done all of this, I'm pretty happy with this title. So let's go ahead and create another one. I wanna go ahead and use another title as well a few frames after our last, so let's put it at seven and six frames. Let's go ahead and add another title. To do so, let's head back over to Browse on Essential Graphics, and let's pick another one. And I wanna grab this number 14. To apply, simply drag and drop into your sequence. Now we can retime it as well because we don't want it to go past the video. So let's shorten it a little bit to match the end of our video. Now let's change what it does. To do so, let's select it, and head over to edit on essential graphics. You can see here we have a lot of the same options, but for starters, I actually wanna turn the animation out off on this. You can also turn the animation in off as you wish or vice versa, but for now, let's just do animation off. I also don't want a background for this. And luckily we can do the same thing as before, head over to background. And this time we can just simply select to turn background off. Now the title is just over the footage. Next, let's change what it says. To do so, let's click the drop down on title and let's change it to the glitches. We can see it automatically changed in our viewer and all of this is looking pretty good. So let's see what we created today. M title glitch is now available on motionvfx.com. Subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.